For the past two years during winter, I've heated my entire house with crypto mining rigs. I spread them out throughout my entire house and I do not have to turn on the furnace a single time. So today I wanna to walk through what's the simplest way to turn a gaming PC into basically a space heater that generates Bitcoin. And we're going to do that on my main PC upstairs I use for editing and gaming. We're gonna be using the Cryptex app on Windows, the absolute easiest possible way to do this. You just download an app, choose which hardware you wanna mine, either your GPU and your CPU, or even just your CPU, and then hit mine, and it's gonna to start to generate heat to keep your house warm while also making a little bit of Bitcoin on the side. So let's get into it. If you guys are new here, I'm Jack from Modern Mining and I love building AI rigs, crypto mining rigs, GPU rigs, ASICs. During the winter time, I will be heating my house with all of this, so stay tuned if you wanna see how I do it. But today, we're not gonna be doing AI. We're going to be doing mining and specifically on the Cryptex app, it makes it extremely, extremely easy and um, though mining is not as profitable as AI, AI requires very specific hardware. So for example, upstairs, and we'll check out my rig in a second, I've got a 5080 GPU. So 5080, very good GPU, but it's not that good for AI. It doesn't get rented as much as say a 5090 would, or a 4090, or even a 3090 because of the amount of VRAM in those cards. So let's hop into the computer and I'll show you what I'm talking about and why the Cryptex app is perfect for winter time to basically heat your house. So here is my setup here. Like I mentioned, I've got the 5080 with a Ryzen 7900X with a cheap Amazon AIO 360 cooler. And then I've got my whole PC plugged into a wattage monitor. We're sitting at about 131 watts idle. We'll see just how high that goes once we start mining on this thing. But let's hop into the computer and I'll talk a little bit more about why the 5080 is not great at AI and why we're gonna mine on it and how to do it. Okay, so before we get started setting up Cryptex, which in my opinion is the easiest app to download and just start mining immediately, if you're a total noob to mining or AI or anything crypto related, then this is going to be one of the better options. Now, there is a couple other competitors to Cryptex, but I have already made a video that did a test on Cryptex versus the other two, and it came out way ahead in terms of profits. I'm going to leave that test right up here right now. So you guys know, even though this is a sponsored video, I'm only doing it with Cryptex because they are the best and I've tested it and proved it. Okay, so real quickly before we get into the start of it, how do I know that the 5080 is not a great AI GPU and that if I want it to be reliably generating heat, then I need to pursue mining on it? Well, you guys have probably heard about my site, gpudeals.net. In general, this is just a site to, if you want to buy a 5080, for example, it's gonna pull the absolute cheapest prices available online from both eBay and Amazon. So you can do all the searching you want. You're not gonna find cheaper prices than these right here. And you can do this for every single card. Um, so if you wanna do a 3090, boom, you can see right there. But I just added a new tabs up at the top here, AI GPUs which can be very helpful for beginners to determine kind of what GPUs to buy for AI or today, if you're better off mining with the hardware you already have. Right off the bat, this is sorted by estimated ROI days. Um, this is not really, this is more for a reference. Uh, 3090 is probably not going to ROI within 130 days. That's taking the max revenue and assuming it's rented every day. But we can see here that at 5080, its reliability in renting is only three stars. So it's not going to be rented that much. And that means that I could put this computer on AI, but it probably wouldn't make much because it's not going to be rented very often. Whereas Cryptex, I know as soon as I hit that mine button, that boom, it's going to start mining and generating heat. So very cool guys that you can see that on here. I've got the same thing for AI. You can see the best value mining GPUs, the highest revenue and the highest profit. Definitely bookmark this site. It's growing every single day. Um, and I'm excited to continue to show that to you guys. All right. So now that we've decided that we want to start mining on our 5080 and 7900X, let's get into it. I will have a referral link to Cryptex down below, guys. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, it just gives me a little bit of portion of Cryptex's fee. So you might as well do it, and I would be greatly appreciated. 
let's go ahead and download this thing and let's see just how easy is it to set up is it really just that point and click so i've already got a um, cryptex account if you don't have one you need to do that um, this is the cryptex.com it's not their pool so keep that in mind and this is going to be your dashboard here so hardware this is where you'll show up uh, your pc that you're mining to your payouts is right here you can get multiple different payouts which is one of the better things too they do support the bitcoin lightning network for very low fees you can get paid out in amazon gift cards um, you can get usdt or you can just straight up get paid out in the big boy bitcoin um, so that's the cool thing about here is multiple different ways. We need to go ahead and connect our computer. So we're going to go into our downloads here and it looks like this is done. This is the what they're calling the V5 mining app and it's supposedly uh, it's the best one yet. So we're going to look through that and I'm probably also going to overclock or underclock my GPU so it's not using as much heat. Um, I don't want to just pull in 800 watts to pull 800 watts if it's going to make the same amount of money pulling 600 watts. Unless, of course, you really just need the heat. So let's hit agree here. We're going to continue our installation. So my uh, threat detector, my antivirus popped up and sees this as a threat. So um, I need to go in here and allow this because any kind of mining algorithm is going to show up like that. Um, and we're we are OK with that. So let's go ahead and I guess we can start actions or maybe there's a way to oh, allow on device. So I'm gonna do that for both of these, allow on device, and that should get rid of that issue because otherwise it's not going to allow you to run these because um, they are kind of seen as a virus even though it's just a crypto miner. So um, we should be good, yes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close that. Now you wanna log in with your Cryptex account. All right, and now we're looking at the main screen here. Let me make this a lot bigger for you guys. So it's immediately going to detect the hardware that you have on your computer. Like I mentioned, we have a 5080 and then we have a 7900X. And this is actually already working. So I'm gonna turn this off for now so we can kind of set up some things first. Um, so until manual start. So we've got it paused now. You can see that it was already mining with both of these things, but it is paused now. Let's go ahead and take a look through the interface. I'm gonna be learning this a little bit with you guys as well. But the first thing I'm immediately liking is it just simplified, shows your balance. This is what I already have left over from maybe another time that I use Cryptex. Um, and let's see what else we have here. A couple things I recommend doing right off the bat. We did go ahead and pause it. I personally don't like that this immediately started uh, right when I opened it. Um, I would like to have a button that says click go to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and unclick start with Windows so that if I want to run Cryptex, I can just click the app and start it from there. So let's see what other options they have in here. Um, that should be fine. I might show minor window and then um, that looks good there. Uh, yeah, we want it in dark mode. So, okay. Now, I also noticed that there's some cog wheels on these items themselves. So this is where we're actually going to set the algorithm uh, that it runs or Cryptex is going to automatically switch. That's one of the beauties of a single app like this is that even if you know nothing about crypto or the different coins you can mine, this is gonna automatically be mining the best one, uh, which is always very nice for us, especially beginners. And we can see here that right now, the XTM algorithm is going to be our most profitable at $21 per month, which that's pretty good. Let's take a look at the CPU here. And we can see random X is at 13. So if those numbers work out, then I'm going to be making about $35 a month in Bitcoin and probably about the same amount of power usage. So I'm going to be kind of breaking even, but um, I'm going to be heating my house during the winter, which therefore takes it into a net profit. But okay, let's go ahead and unpause this here. And you can see since I changed that setting, it actually pops up the different mining scripts now so you can like monitor this. You don't need to do this as a beginner, but I can actually see that this first one is XMR rig, which is the random X. This is the CPU mining side of it. And then this right here is the GPU mining side of it. So uh, let's quickly take a look at how much wattage we're using right now and see if it continues to bump up. 
So right now it's showing 550 watts, which you have to think if that's mining basically 24 hours a day, that's gonna be a lot of heat. Now, I'm not gonna leave this on full time until it gets a little colder. Luckily for me, this room actually ends up being one of the coldest ones during the winter. So it's perfect for me to leave this on all winter and so i always come into a nice kind of toasty office i hate working on the keyboard when my hands are like freezing this is going to prevent that so it's continuing to ramp up here um we can see here have we started to get shares yes we have uh so our gpu is now also mining let me check it one more time and it looks like we're stuck at about 550. now one thing you can do here is we want to try to underclock this just a little bit um, because there's no reason to just be burning a ton of extra power for no reason unless like you're using this as your main source of heater so interesting i think it might be doing a little bit of benchmarking right now because it just switched to mining ravencoin on the kapow algorithm um, even though that was not the most profitable so let's go in here again and yeah you can see that it's getting our kind of mega hash values right here these may be um, what is just kind of recommended and then this is actually going in and um, setting our actual hash rates. But looking at this, it does show that Raven is the highest profitability right now. So what I wanted to do though, is we can take a look at this window here and we can see that um, our efficiency is basically 154 uh, kilohash per watt. So that's our hash rate compared to our wattage. We want that to be as high as possible. And that's where we're going to actually start to underclock our pc right here all right it looks like it's settled on the two algorithms it's going to choose we have xmr mining monero on the cpu and then we're mining tari with the kukuru 29 algorithm on the gpu and you can see our estimated profits per month right around 26 to 27 dollars per month in raw bitcoin now i did find something very cool so you could overclock or underclock your pc with msi afterburner but cryptx has really stepped it up with this v5 platform and if you go into settings here and then right now we're mining this kukuru 29 you can actually set your overclocks directly in here on a per algorithm basis which is very cool um, you, you can also set it for different miners. So if we take a look here, um, we're going to be mining LOL miner and that's the overclocks we'll use here. But on a coin that has multiple, like if we look at, uh, zealous, you can set, uh, extra arguments for both regal and one zero minor, and it's going to convert these overclocks for both of them. So for the beginners here, don't worry too much about that. Um, but you probably do want to put in a little bit of an underclock. So what I did here is I went to the site hashrate.no and I selected my 5080 GPU and I can click on Tari and it's going to give me some overclocks right here. So I'm going to pull this to the side and it looks like our core offset, we want to do 300. Our core clock, we want to set to 2200. Our uh, memory offset, we want to set to 1000. And uh, we'll leave it at that. So you can see here that it's applying these changes every time you change them in the flight sheet. I do wish it kind of had a uh, save button because it restarted it three times as I set those three values. Now, if your computer crashes or freezes, then your values were probably too high and you need to reduce them a little bit. But let's see if this is indeed working correctly. You can see that it ap applied our settings right here. Let me check the power and see if it actually reduced it. And we're all the way down at 450 watts. So it dropped a whole 100 watts off and we might have actually increased in hash rate. Um, I did not actually look at it beforehand, but we can judge it based off the profit per month. So all that's gonna do is make it more efficient. Um, you're gonna lose some of that heat, but you're not gonna be spending as much power for the Bitcoin that you are generating. Now, keep in mind, we only set that for the Tari algorithm. So if we want to mine a different coin here, then we would need to go in here and set our own individual overclocks for that algorithm, which uh, is very cool that you have the, the ability to do that. And if you want to stay to maybe relatively low power algorithms or only high power algorithms, you can actually select these checks and disable mining of certain coins. Like I don't ever really want to mine Carlson hash, so I could unclick that and it's not going to try to mine Carlson hash anymore. So uh, it looks like we may have dropped 
about two dollars but 100 watts continuous use over a month is definitely going to save us a lot more than two dollars so we mentioned that we were earning about 26 dollars per month roughly somewhere around there it's going to fluctuate for sure but how does that actually compare to how much watts we're burning uh, at the wall from this computer? So before I did the overclocks, we were using 550 watts. And I have this nice little spreadsheet here that shows per month, that would be $43.56. So just with us uh, reducing it to 450 watts, we're saving like $8 in power cost, but getting the same amount of Bitcoin. So that's pretty nice. But the whole point here is that if you had a space heater that was pouring, pulling 450 watts, this is saying that it's gonna cost you $35 a month that you're gonna to have to pay out of pocket to the power company to keep yourself warm. Well, with the mining rig, if it's making $26 in Bitcoin, then all of a sudden that same 450 watt space heater is only really costing you like nine to $10 a month to run, but you're getting the same amount of heat as if you were spending $35 a month. So that's where this kind of comes into play. If you already have computer hardware, it's a more efficient way to heat your house than any sort of electric uh, space heater or electric heater. Now, if you have a gas heater, that's gonna be slightly more efficient uh, than even this right here, but this is still pretty good. In some cases, you can get to the point where you're heating your house for free. The Bitcoin is totally offsetting the electricity usage. So pretty cool. Again, I will have my Cryptex link down below if you're wanting to heat your house this winter with a computer that you already own. This can be done on older hardware, newer hardware. That's the nice thing about mining is basically it can be done on a lot of different things and this app makes it extremely, extremely easy. So if you wanted to close it, you just turn it off right here and then close the app open it back up again and hit the switch. Otherwise, it's just gonna uh, start on startup every time, which may be what some people wanna do if it's not kind of their main computer here. Okay, so now if we go back to the Cryptex site, the dashboard, now we can actually see our earnings history right here. Um, our desktop PC has finally shown up here and we should be able to see our hardware. Yes, right here, it gives us our GPU wattage and our GPU temperature here. Um, it shows our different hash rates for both the CPU and the GPU and um, our profitability per month, which this is going to vary over time and needs to be set for a while. So let's look in here and see what else we have. Again, we've got the CPU and the GPU. You can turn one of these off. Uh, same thing in the app, by the way. If you only want to mine on your CPU, then you can just turn off the GPU and um, so forth. Now, uh, it also looks like there is this remote control app. So let's go ahead and just try this right here. This is actually looks like I'm able to control my PC from the dashboard here. So um, if you just wanna go ahead and turn it off, you're not from home, but you notice maybe it's too hot, you can turn it off from the browser. That's pretty cool. That looks like a beta feature, but it um, seems like it worked just fine. So the last thing we need to talk about is payouts. Once you have a good amount of payout ready to go, um, then you actually need to get it paid out from Cryptex to your wallet. And I mentioned that there's a couple different options here. Bitcoin is gonna have a relatively high fee on it, $3.41. So if you're only making a couple cents a day, you certainly don't wanna pay this out every $5. I tend to leave a pretty good amount on here, like 50 to 100 bucks, and then do a payout maybe once a month or once every two months, so you're not getting burned by fees all the time. But super easy. Uh, you got USDT, Bitcoin, um, Amazon gift cards, all of those options there. So that's how you set it up. Literally one click, make an account, and you're good to go. Again, I will leave a link to my sign up link down below. Appreciate if you use it and let me know your experience with Cryptex. Uh, do you like it? Do you not like it? And if you want to mine to Cryptex pool instead of the app, I'll leave a good video up here on the way out and my site GPU deals right here. Peace.